एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट एनिमेटेड पैंडोलम सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट एड सो दिस इज माई आर्ट बोर्ड एंड दिस इज द टाइम लाइन एंड फ्रॉम हीयर वी कैन रीनेम द लेयर बाय जस्ट क्लिक डबल ऑन इट एंड दीज आर द टूल्स एंड हेयर आई एम सेलेक्टिंग रेक्टेंगल टूल नाउ क्रिएट अ वर्टिकली थिन रेक्टेंगल and just double click on it by selecting selection tool V now my stroke size is 9 and change the color to black and go to the brush library here you can choose any brush which suits on your object and here i am choosing pattern brushes then borders and now i am choosing this fifth one just double click on it now add new layer you can rename it and hit r for rectangle tool and create a rectangle on the top of it okay now add one more layer hit r for rectangle tool create a rectangle for background okay hit v for selection tool just double click on it go to this panel then color then change solid color to radiant gradient radial gradient now play with the colors choose those colors which make your background more attractive okay after this drag this layer under all the layers and add one more layer drag this here hit o for oval tool and create an oval by holding shift now go to this panel and change the stroke style and here i'm choosing this and change the stroke size to 16 okay now double click on it and change gradient to solid color and double click on it drag this oval to here okay now lock this background layer and this second layer and here yes now go to 65 in your timeline go to 65 and you just need to hold the button of your mouse and drag it like this and hit f5 or by just right click insert frame come here and count 7 and on ninth key frame you just need to hit f6 or by right click convert to keyframe here also convert to keyframe okay so come here and select free transform tool q and double click on it and holding shift double click on this oval as well and drag this anchor point to here and move this pendulum like this to upward side and now here on the onion skin this is very helpful thing it will show the previous keyframe which help you to work on the next one okay now here i am again count 7 and here convert to keyframe sorry here convert to keyframe okay just double click on it holding shift and drag this anchor point to here again rotate it like this okay good job okay now count only 5 just because our animation principle convert to keyframe here also convert to keyframe why i left 5 only 
um just because when something goes up it takes more time as compared to when it comes down so just double click on it holding shift and drag this anchor point to here and come here okay with the help of onion skin okay again count only 5 1 2 3 4 5 and here convert to keyframe or f6 okay again holding shift and drag this anchor point to here and rotate it like this with the help of onion skin okay now count 7 because this time it will go up okay convert to keyframe here also convert to keyframe okay double click on it holding shift drag this anchor point to here now rotate it okay again count 7 okay One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here, convert to keyframe. Here also, convert to keyframe. Okay, double click on it, holding shift, and okay, drag this anchor point to here. Now rotate it. Okay. Okay, here. Okay. Now count five. F six. F six. Again, select both. Holding shift. Drag this anchor point to here. Now, with the help of onion skin, move it like this. Again. Count five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Convert to keyframe. Convert to keyframe. And just hold the button of your mouse and drag it like this. And remove the frames. Okay. And click on it. Select it by holding shift. Double click on it. And double click on it. also okay and drag this anchor point to here okay here and rotate it like this this position okay good job okay now control enter hit control enter and see the results okay so let me just unlock all the layers and come here select this second layer and hit R for rectangle tool and create one rectangle here, and it is not showing just because this color. Now select it and change the stroke color to neon green. This okay. Now again, Control Enter and see the results. Well that's all for today guys hope you have liked this video and if you did also if you want to hear from me again be sure to hit the subscribe button share like comment and the most important thing hit the notification bell to get latest video updates till the time take care and stay safe bye bye guys